Okay, let's uh, let's go for this. This is not going to be super easy, but I might as well try. So yeah, for the meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. I might this skip ahead and try to actually me. succeed. You all have seen this in the last episode, so I'm just going to skip through the dialogue, I think. Give them no quarter. Okay, that was pretty difficult to do. Genius, who is now unconscious, acquired lightning. But can't use it because it's unconscious. Still, uh, yeah, I guess you just... 
<laughs> to be honest, it was quite useful throughout those other less strong characters and characters that uh, I couldn't control and um, unconscious. They seem to be sort of sleeping on their feet here. But yeah, it meant I basically didn't have to worry about them. Maybe, though, I should um, do something different with the attack patterns I've got them in, so they'll behave differently in battle. Like, well, Rain shouldn't have been there at all, I don't think. I guess I will have to get her level up at some point. I thought I'd changed her for Colette or, or Genus. I'm not sure, perhaps Rain wasn't in there and I was getting confused between her and Colette. Anyway, um, obviously there's no point in having a um, someone who focuses on healing other characters if that person doesn't know healing magic. I assumed that the character in question, I think it was Colette, who I said to focus on healing, um, programmed her for that. Uh, I assumed that she would use whatever healing items I had on others, but I guess not. Anyway, that's enough talking for me. Let's carry on with the story. of regeneration. Offer your prayers at the altar. Mark is talking to you, Clark. Yes, my lord. O oh, goddess Martell, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. My dear daughter, you have done well. Thank you, father. There's no need to keep you, uh, keep your mouth open and uh, move your mouth so you're not talking. The guardian of the seal has fallen, and the first seal has been released. Ifrit will surely awaken soon. I figured the fiery uh, giant tiger was a fleet, but. Guess I was wrong. In the name of Crucius, I shall grant you the power of the angels. Thank you, my lord. Expecting the angel that. transformation will not be without pain. Yet, it is but for one night. Be strong and endure. That's pretty rubbish. If we go and collect the other um, widgets, whatever magical thing me bobs, can see like do that for a week or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ten days. Would be quite cool. I humbly accept this trial. The next seal lies far to the east, across the sea. Offer your prayers at that altar. Yes, Lord Remuel. I shall await you at the next seal, the Chosen of Regeneration. My beloved daughter, Colette. Hmm. Somehow I don't quite trust... him. 
that what he's saying is true about her being his daughter and everything. But I could be wrong. Colette has wings. Yeah, keep up, Lloyd. Uh-huh, and look, I can put them away too. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Here, look, look. He said the next place is across the sea. That means we get to sail on a ship. <laughs> I can't wait. A ship? Hmm. I wonder if there are any ships sailing with the way things are right now. We should head to the coast to see what we can find. Okay, you two, we get it already. That's enough. Okay. So I wonder if you can use Angel Feathers as an attack. Alright, oh, I think I'm probably going to change the way they behave in uh, battle. She can attack from further away, I think, and certainly Genus can. If it's her and not Genus, I'm not quite sure how Genus was able to acquire um, lightning here, but never mind. We know she can heal, can't she? All right, I'm gonna do that. She can attack from far as well, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do attack friend for him. He's a long range attacker as well. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave things as that, but I'm also gonna swap her for him. Alright, he's still at number one, then there's Genius Colette. Great hose, that's good. Alright, Rain. Well, I might have to have rain to, I might have to train the brain up a bit, but I'll, I'll keep it as that now. Okay, I'm going to uh, leave, and um, I might accidentally encounter a few enemies along the way, and that's going to be kind of boring. Actually, I know what I've just done. But, I am going to change this slightly, because rain does, rain, rain does need to uh, get up a level. So, whilst I'm not fighting a boss, I am going to have rain uh, replace him, but only whilst I'm not fighting boss. Let's go! No way! I beg of you, no way! Go. 
So yeah, I'm not going to be showing off the battles. I am not going to be touching that chest. Maybe at some point in the future I will come back here. Are you okay? Don't overdo it. Okay, I managed to acquire a new um, attack there. I don't like some Frost that much, so... But I thought I got a new one. Anyway, um, let's go use Guardian, I guess, because that seems very helpful. anything to do with it. Now's not the time for that. Her lips are turning purple. We must get her to a doctor in the city immediately. I just got a text message as well, so that too. Wait, it's best not to move her. Why? Well, let's, let's just leave her standing here in the desert full of enemies. Remember the angel's words. The angel transformation process requires her to overcome a trial. Rather than taking her to a doctor, it would be best to let her rest here. I'm... okay. I'll be fine after a little rest. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Stop apologizing all the time, you dork. It's not as if you can help it. You were suddenly turned into an angel. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I suppose if that happened to me, I'd, um, I'd be a bit sort of, uh, nonplussed, I guess. It would take me a while to get used to it. <sighs> well, anyway, let's set up camp before it gets dark. can get pretty cold in the desert at night. Apparently, I don't think that's been in the desert. So I don't know for sure, but that's what I've heard. Hey, how was the tofu curry? It tasted pretty good. Really? Are you sure your taste buds are okay? Uh, yeah, I think he was just... I was just kind of humoring you, I guess, because I assumed that you made it. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. I didn't have all the ingredients. I couldn't get the flavor I wanted. Oh, you're the one that made this? Of course. I thought it was the professor. Oh, will you try my cooking next time, Lloyd? If you want to live, you better not. Okay, I got her, her uh, emotion wrong there, and my voice. Never mind, but it's true. Oh yeah, I know it's kind of late now, but here's your birthday present. 
Oh no, it's broken. I wonder when it broke. I'm sorry, I'll make you a new one. Thanks. And I'm sorry that I keep causing trouble for you. Don't worry about it. By the way, you haven't been eating at all. Are you still feeling sick? No, I'm fine. I just don't seem to have much of an appetite. You won't be able to keep up your strength if you don't eat. I know, you're right. <coughs> Lloyd, don't push her. Colette is delicate, unlike you. Shut it. I think Lloyd, to be fair, was only trying to help. I'm sorry, Colette. No, no, I'm okay. I'm really sorry for worrying you. And there's people also sorry about things. Your axe fear has an unusual color. It does seem to be a little different from yours and the others. By the way, why do you have an axe fear? I took one from a design. I heard that the designs forced humans with ants to make them. So that's why Marble had an axe fear too. It it's a tall way to ask you something as well. Oh, okay, sure. Why are you raised by a dwarf? Dad found me collapsed in the forest along with Mum and Noish, as he will forever be known, except when the characters are pronouncing his name correctly. Although, what really happened was that we attacked by designs. I see, from the sound of that, you're probably. Your father is probably not alive either. Probably not. So the designs are responsible for the deaths of your parents. Your life has been completely torn apart by them. Huh? Your mother was killed and then you were chased out of your village. To be fair, um, the designs did say that they weren't responsible for killing his, uh, his mum, and I actually believe them. The voice was my fault. I'm the one that caused them to be there. So averting your eyes won't make a difference. I'm not going to run away from the consequences of my actions for the sake of people that lost their lives, and for myself. I see. Now, then, no matter what waits ahead, you must not forget that determination. Why am I talking to you about this anyway? Because there doesn't seem to be a save point here, and um, I don't really know what to do. Guess I need to talk to all of them. Noish. Dog noise. Uh, okay. It seems Colette's feeling better now. Yeah, it looks like becoming an angel is pretty rough. Yes, I wonder if her biological structure is changing. In which case, I'm not sure if she should be eating food at all. We're not really sure if it's good for angels or not. I know what? Ah, in other words, I wonder if she's becoming a different kind of life form. She's just becoming an angel, right? That's true. However, what I want to know is, in what way are angels and humans different? Who knows? We don't know. But it doesn't matter. Colette is Colette. You may be right. Okay, let's try talking to Colette again. I'm gonna go for a little walk. Want me to come? Thanks, but I'll be fine by myself. Ha ha! You got rejected! Hey, shut up, Genus. Ugh. <coughs> What's happening to me? Wow, you're technically becoming a different species. Before I look at two Palmer Costa, I am going to go and find somewhere to save, and then I'm going to save. Um, yeah.
So, uh, I will... I'm, I'm not going to show that off. I will just see you in the next episode. Oh, uh, I know I already said goodbye, but these are new enemies. I would guess they're nomads, or maybe soldiers, or something like that. So I might as well show off fighting them. Blame your fate. I'm exhausted. Let's get to the end. Genius, you're going to trip. I'm fine. Come on, come on. Okay, guess I'm showing this off as well. Whoa! There, you see? You trip easily, so you need to calm down a little. But. No bots, honestly. That's why I always tell you to be careful. See, you're hurt. It's just a scratch, it's not even bleeding. Quiet, the sounds of Trident are very fine. The wound might get infected. Honestly, do you really think you can go on this journey acting like this? I can't tell if the professor is mad or worried or what. Really? She's caring and gentle. Hmm. It is like her love for a brother that causes her to act like this. I am sisterly love. I used to have a less stupid name than this. Oh well. Okay, well... I really am going to end the episode there, I will see you next time. Whoa! Who's there? Oh, I'm not. What was that? What's wrong? Some weird guy came in here. Are you hurt? Nah, I'm fine. It may have been a design. Everyone be careful. Seems like Lloyd's always got someone after him. What, so it's my fault? Seriously though, we can't be too careful. I'll be fine, but Colette and the Professor, you two, be careful. Yeah, thanks. Yes, I'll make sure. Okay, I am gonna end the episode there. As long as nothing happens to my characters whilst I'm in the process of saving. I will see you next time.